इति स्मृतम् तपासारम इदम् भद्रे दानम् च ईश्वरे तर्पणम् This payavrata is also known as sarvayagna. In other words, the performing the sacrifice, one can perform all of the sacrifices automatically. This is also acknowledged with the best of all the ritualistic ceremonies. O oh, gentle lady, it is the essence of all austerities and it is the process of giving charity and pleasing the supreme controller. So this is a wonderful ceremony uh, known as payavrata. And the whole chapter we read the details. So is, is it that we also start following living only on milk? So uh, seeing the situation of a different time and ages, the Acharyas keep the same essence. They don't change the essence. What is the same essence here? Focus on worship of Vishnu. That is same. Therefore, it's called also we have Radha Krishna temples, we have Gaunidai temples, we have Balaram temples, Prabhupada is talking, all this list is there. Vishnu is common. And uh, this is uh, Samsiddhi Haritoshanam, Vishnu Aradhate Pumsam. So, in Varnashram also the focus is that somehow Vishnu is pleased. That is same. The details of worship may be different because of time and place. This is in heaven given to Aditi by Kashyapa Muni, different time, different age, different place. And today in the ISKCON movement we have certain rules and regulations. But the focus is same. What is the focus? Vishnu should be pleased. Krishna should be pleased. That we should not forget. And the rules and regulations given uh, should be followed very enthusiastically. Uh, and then there is going to be some progress. Uh, what is not to be done is that we take the directions of the Acharya. Then we see why he made those directions and find a way not to follow the directions. The mind is very powerful. It will can cheat us very nicely if we try to do all these things. Just like payovrata, okay, it is milk. Milk and curd is say, why milk? I can have some curd. We can make some uh, adjustment. No? Follow as it has been given. So similarly, Prabhupada has in the Krishna consciousness movement given very simple rules. He has bound us by the four regulated principles, no intoxication, no gambling, no meat, no illicit sex. We are bound by that. If we call ourselves proper disciples, we are bound by that. We cannot break them. And moment you would establish in your system that I cannot break them, immediately you are in Sattva Goda. You are very peaceful. Never break them. And anything which leads to breaking them, you will never do. Because you know, I am bound. I have given a commitment. Uh, because we, this Prabhupada, the founder Acharya, and our life is based on his directions. And then, this is on negative side. Don't do these things. On positive sides, he has given a simple sadhana. 
ठीक है ही इज नॉट से यू डोंट ईट एनी थिंग जस्ट ड्रिंक मिल नो से दिस इज मंगल आरती दिस इज दर्शन आरती दिस इज दिस एक्टिविटीज यू जस्ट डू दिस एक्टिविटी दैट्स ऑल एंड देन होल्ड ए इंगेज होल्ड डे बी इंगेज इन सर्विस टू कृष्णा so very nice uh, simple process which prabhupada has given very simple process and many time devotees used to go to prabhupada in some specific direction is there because sometimes some people feel i am special everybody feels so there is some special direction for me you know i have some personal question what would i do now prabhupada said i have nothing new to tell you simple straight these five things that i told you chant 16 rounds follow four x that's it So Prabhupada used to always insist uh, consistently that there is no need to add and delete anything, including even in the deity worship. Prabhupada, don't add or delete what I have given. Just focus on what I have given, and then you, if you do that, uh, we see that as Aditi got the darshan of the Lord, we will also get tangible spiritual progress. Spiritual progress is not just by rules and regulation. it's by the spirit also and the whole spirit is to please krishna i want to please krishna when there is spirit is to please krishna and somebody is just doing it mechanically there is difference just like somebody chants hari krishna and if he is not focused if he is not hearing hari krishna 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 hari hari ram ram hari krishna 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 something is doing he doesn't know what he is doing mind is somewhere else but is focused is hearing hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare he will be ch- chanting properly yeah okay? one thing is mind is somewhere else he is doing mechanically he has forgotten uh, he is doing this for pleasing krishna he is just doing some exercise no just like you pay dandavat to the lord he is not doing exercise he is uh, submitting himself to the lord Ma- lord i am at your lotus feet So in the same way the all the elements of Krishna consciousness when you do uh, the focus should be that somehow Krishna should be pleased and in that we know there are 10 offenses so is very conscious 10 offenses in the holy name 64 offenses in deity worship is very conscious so let me not do any offense Krishna will get upset because i want to please Krishna because i want to please Krishna i'm very careful i don't do anything which upsets him and i know these things Krishna doesn't like Okay, and then the process of Krishna consciousness given will be very effective and will lead to tangible spiritual advancement. Okay, provided you want that. Okay, so anybody sometimes they feel I am doing sadhana, I am chanting sixteen rounds. That is not sadhana. As for proper direction, proper directions are there, details are there. Okay, the so sadhana is has to be followed as the direction of the acharya. Whole day person should be absorbed. Okay. everybody can have excuses this is there this is there this is there this is there as spiritual life advances excuses reduces even in the most difficult condition somebody serves prabhu somebody is continues to serve krishna that is advancement when haridas thakur was very sick he was so sick that he was not even able to sit he was lying on his back so Govinda the servant of Lord Chaitanya came to saw, saw him and he saw the condition he ran to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and said Haridas Thakur is not well and he was very dear to Lord Chaitanya when he came to Jagannath Puri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu personally requested a place for him to stay a solitary place near the temple where Haridas Thakur could stay simple place if you go all these places if you see they are very simple even when i went to uh, Jagannath Puri, you see Gambira. It's very simple. Where Lord Chaitanya stayed, very simple place, very small and simple place. So when uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked for a solitary place, and he personally arranged a place for Haridas Thakur to stay near the temple, and every day Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to go to meet Haridas Thakur. So then, what happened was. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu personally came to meet Haridas Thakur, and he said, "What's your disease? I heard you're not well." So Haridas Thakur was. He told Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, "My disease is I am not able to finish my rounds. That's my only disease." So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, "You have chanted so whole life. Now it's okay." Well, he said, "No, 
but I another worry I am having that you are going to wind up your pastimes now. Yesterday we discussed how Adhuta Charya sent a riddle, so some top devotees understood. So he told Chetan Mahaprabhu, "I have a worry now. You are going to wind up your pastime now, and I will not be able to bear separation from you." And that is the nature. Actually, when something we love, we can't bear the separation. So. That's how Haridas Thakur was situated. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu fulfilled his wish. So, the point for us to take from this pastime is, look at how serious he was, even at the days, this is just one or two days before he left the world. Yes. He and Advita Acharya were senior by age to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, you can add some 15 to 20 years. And this is 68 something. They were quite elderly, Haridas Thakur at that time. So even then he was very conscious that I have to finish, I have to finish my commitment daily quota uh, of chanting 192 rounds. It's very difficult actually. So uh, for us Prabhupada says, many times Prabhupada asked why there are problems in the movement. Prabhupada said there are problems because the leaders are not chanting their 16 rounds. That the Prabhupada said is the main problem in the moment. If the people do not finish 16 rounds, all problems will start. Because if this is done, at least one major portion of medicine is taken. Many times, Prabhupada used to say, among all the instructions, this is the most important instruction to finish 16 rounds. Okay, so this is uh, the best. And chanting is always done best in Brahma Muhurta. In fact, the whole day should be organized in such a way that I can very nicely chant the rounds. Should the whole day should be organized because you have to t- properly take rest. You should be have fresh clothes to wear. Uh, you should be with energy, enthusiasm. You should have a clean place to sit down and should be attentively able to hear the holy name. This is the whole day because this is the most important instruction. Should be focused. But not that other things are not done. Everything is done. Because yesterday we hear Bhagavad Vidhi, Pancharatra Vidhi, everything is done. Everything is done. Very carefully in the Krishna consciousness. So in this uh, spirit, uh, the Payobrata we cannot do. Uh, it's not that it is easy. It's more difficult. You have to live for 12, 13 days only in milk. I don't think it's easy. It's difficult. Uh, difficult to do. But at the same time, with Payobrata, there were other things also involved. There were chanting of the mantras. We had the chanting of Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Then we had chanting of some other mantras which were also given. Then there was worship of the deity. There were so many offerings to the deity. Then there were a distribution of prasadam. So Prabhupada said all this thing is there. And in the Krishna conscious movement. And there is chanting, there is dancing and then there is understanding the philosophy of Krishna consciousness and there is prasadam. So if you see the elements are same. But only the austerity, the Prabhupada has changed. In fact, Prabhupada is very kind. Even on Ekadeshi, the general Ekadeshi people do, nobody eats anything. They fast. Not only the fast, previous day they start. And the half day of previous day, they, after that they don't eat. They say there should be no Anna in the body only. So people follow a very rigid rules actually. But Prabhupada could see these people are not, uh, they will stop service. Okay, they may follow if I insist, but then they will stop service. So two, three days in a month, people will just lie down. Oh, today is Ekadashi. Prabhupada, no problem. You have, don't touch grain, because Lord Chaitanya also insisted uh, that no grain should be touched on Ekadashi. Even he requested his mother that don't touch any grain on Ekadashi. So following that, we also don't touch any grain. But otherwise, so many things can be made from non-grain, you know. So that way Prabhupada keep, kept it simple. He did not push for something which are not main essential. And you know, if you go to Karmakanda Brahmins, they will give 10,000 more rules. Just like I remember some Karmakandi fellow was telling me. If you eat water, drink water from the left hand, it is equal to drinking liquor. There is one shloka for that. So if you go for that, there are Karmakandi Brahmanas will give you 1,000 more rules. Prabhupada just kept it aside. Just kept it aside. He just focused on the essential elements of Krishna consciousness so that not to uh, make it look like a Karmakandi movement. Uh, more focus on bhakti being extremely powerful. 
there was once uh, somebody went to Srila Prabhupada. He said, Prabhupada, Prabhupada. So what happened? No, this foolish fellow is putting Tilak in the bathroom. Because uh, prob- maybe the ba- mirror was in bathroom only. So, so Prabhupada, this is very big sin. <laughs> Prabhupada said, chant Hare Krishna, be peaceful. So he was not uh, going into the details of this karma kanda kind of elements. His more focus was, true, the follower is good, but not that, w- that, w- that we become the focus. He kept his rules simple so that it is easy for people to follow. Otherwise, the rule book of ISKCON will be this much, you know. This should be done. When you get up in the morning, you should rise from this side and not this side. The rules, you should put your left leg or right leg. Then you should do this, then you should do this, then you should do this. Hey, it will be too much. Then you take bath, you should do this, then you should do this. The proper says, you will not be, if I tell you all the rules, you Westerners will not be able to come out of the bathroom only. There are so many rules. Some rules of cleanliness, Prabhupada was very insistent. Just like when he was in the kitchen, he was cooking. And the first time Western devotees came to Govinda Dasi, remember she came to help Prabhupada cooking. So she said, 20 times I have to go to bathroom. To, no, to go to wash my hand. No, because you don't know, we are Western, we touch our ears, go wash your hand, touch your nose, Prabhupada, go wash your hand. So they didn't know all these things so because they don't know, they are not trained in suchi. Generally, Sometimes in some families, somebody may have training how to stay suchi. But people do not have the training. The basic elements were there, but going too much detail, Prabhupada avoided. Because then uh, this will, uh, the whole focus will be lost. Uh, just like I think mostly the uh, Brahmana community in India, when they see ISKCON people, they tell so many rules you don't follow. There was once we had Harina in front of the temple. A nice Sankirtan was going on, very nice Sankirtan. And somebody called me up, what is all this? Are these your people? Yes. Why they are doing Harinam and they are wearing chapel? They should be doing Harinam without chapel. And I said, see, they are on the road, some glass, something may be there. They are not in some, you know, such way. But no, Harinam they are chanting. I also remember once I was sitting in bus and chanting Harinam. One person came and scolded me, you are chanting Harinam and you are wearing chapel. No shame, remove chapel. So people are more focused on these rules, uh, which are rules, but Prabhupada kept them aside. Not to too much focus on these rules, then the very, uh, it will scare. So many rules if you create, it will scare people. Okay? So he kept simple. But the fundamental principle, what he has given, that our lives should be dedicated. In fact, whole day, from morning to evening, uh, we should try with full energy. Uh, in fact, we may, such situation may come when we are invalid. We cannot follow anything. That will be very difficult. But now we should see that we are pushing ourselves uh, to at least follow what Prabhupada has given. Uh, and then uh, it will be nice. So here Aditi, very enthusiastically. In fact, rules and regulations are followed enthusiastically when somebody has faith in the process. Uh, I mean, also somebody should understand he is suffering and he is in a great danger. He should be very convinced I am in a suffering and I am in great danger. Then you will follow. Okay? If you know you are in danger, you will become very serious. So we don't think we are in danger. It's very important. We should think I am in danger. And then I should also know that if I do not follow rules and regulations, I do not practice seriously. Then ISKCON is a wonderful vehicle. It will take you where you are fit. It may not take you to Goloka. So it is a wonderful vehicle given a Prabhupada. But where it goes? The same vehicle people can use to go different places. But giving, getting lotus feet of Krishna is not a joke. So just like Prabhupada was mentioning, we were reading that the position of Lakshmi or the, the girls which got an opportunity to be wives of Krishna, they had got after millions of births of tapasya. This is not a joke. Uh, even Shukadev Goswami says, Krita Pramuga Punja. These boys who are playing with Krishna, how much crores and crores of tons of punya they have to do to get this position? How much they have worked to get this position? So if you value, if you value to be an associate of the Lord, uh, if, you, if you want that, because life is short, not much time we all have. If you value to be in that position, to be a uh, Personally, in the service to the Lord, we have to do tapasya very intensely, very, very seriously. 
as directed by the Acharya. Tapo Divyam. It is a tapasya should not be whimsical. Tapasya should be guided. So she is Aditi is taking the tapasya given by um, the husband very seriously. So much so, twelfth day she saw Krishna. Similarly, we have given other success stories in Bhagavatam to enthuse us. That is a uh, success story of Dhruva Maharaj. He also within six months, he saw Krishna face to face. So many success. Chitraketu also is few days. So these are all success stories given to show us that actually Krishna can be pleased if you follow the Guru very seriously. So that Prabhupada is as a Guru, as an Acharya, has given guidelines. And if we follow these guidelines sincerely uh, in association of devotees under the shelter of Vaishnavas uh, with full energy and enthusiasm, and then definitely Krishna will be pleased. Srila Prabhupada Ki.